Just ahead, with the shopping and lights, it's easy to forget the real reason for the Christmas season. Paul Grayson is here with a reminder about what Christmas is all about in tonight's Look Around Mississippi. The tradition we're talking about is nativity sets. Uh, they're popular decorations for houses. You'll find angels and shepherds and manger scenes under the tree or on a tabletop or a mantle. Well, the folks at Johnston United Methodist Church in Summit put on a live nativity scene each year, and it stretches about a mile along the road going to their church. A grandfather reading the Christmas story out of the Bible to the family is a tradition you're likely to find in many homes over the holidays. And this is the opening tableau in Johnston United Methodist Church's live nativity scenes. From here, about another mile on down the road toward the church, are the scenes, the grandfather's reading. The angel telling Mary that she's going to have a child, King Herod on the throne in Jerusalem. On to the choirs of angels on the hillside outside Bethlehem, to Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and the wise men all gathered around the manger with baby Jesus. There's a good bit of work that goes into the live nativity. Sets have to be built, signs painted, costumes made, and people have to be there for two hours every night for the three nights the scenes are set up. Pastor of Johnston United Methodist, Alan Deering, says not only do they portray the real meaning of Christmas, but he sees other benefits for the live nativity. I think first off it helps me to see that my church come together and do something together and you know things divide churches so easily but this seems to unite them and I see a lot of people that are really excited about showing Jesus to other people. Audra Wallace is a lifelong member of the church and has not missed being involved in the drive-by live nativity since it started about five years ago. Why do y'all do this? Well everybody loves the Lord and it's just something everybody enjoys and they get a blessing for coming through here and seeing all this. And, uh, so they all love to do it, and they enjoy doing it. Has it been on long enough you've begun to look forward to it every year now? Oh, yeah, they, they go to plan it every year. <laughs> There's usually something happens every year for all of us that makes it the holidays after it happens. Putting up the tree, maybe, or going to the church Christmas cantata. Well, the live nativity that stretches that mile or so along Johnston Church Road and Summit is that thing for the people who participate in it, and for the people and the thousand or so cars that pass through it every year. Very nice. And it's uh, on again tonight and tomorrow night from 6 o'clock until 8 o'clock. A few folks in Summit just go west on Highway 98 and then about two miles down that road, look for the sign on the right. Very and good. And I'll take you through it. And I got the whole baby Jesus. <laughs> that was a child. good baby. We were was, talking about that. Because that was toward the end of the two hours that he'd been out there. My goodness. He looked a little hungry to me. But. <laughs>